here we will be looking at the inferior mesenteric artery now as we all know if you can see over here see this is the aorta the aorta bifurcates at the level of l4 into the common iliac arteries we can see the common iliac arteries here you can see some branches this cut section is known as the celiac trunk arising at the level of t12 and l1 this structure this is known as the superior mesenteric artery which will be arising at L1 and will move towards the right side and here we have the inferior mesenteric artery the inferior mesenteric artery arises from L3 you can see the inferior mesenteric artery is traveling towards the left side and will give branches which are going to anastomose with the branches of the superior mesenteric artery the inferior mesenteric artery arises just behind the, the third part of the duodenum and goes towards the left side. The first branch that the inferior mesenteric artery gives, the inferior mesenteric artery along through its branches supplies the various parts of the hindgut. So the branch coming from the inferior mesenteric artery, you can see over here, this is the left colic artery. The left colic artery ascends upwards by dividing into an ascending branch and a descending branch ascending branch will go upwards and curve and will anastomose with the similar branch coming from the middle colic artery so this is the ascending branch of the left colic artery this is the descending branch the second branch that we can see over here are a bunch of arteries which are known as the sigmoidal arteries these are the sigmoidal arteries so the highest sigmoidal artery is going to anastomose with the descending branch of the left colic artery and the rest of the branches basically are going downwards supplying the sigmoid colon here we have the sigmoid colon after giving the left colic branch and the sigmoidal branch the inferior mesenteric artery continues downwards as the superior rectal artery this superior rectal artery goes downwards and if you can see over here we have two divisions the two lateral divisions these are going to go downwards and will anastomose with the branches coming from the middle rectal arteries and will form plexus over there now we also have a point we also have a branch coming from the superior rectal artery which is known as the sigmoidal branch which is basically not found over here this sigmoidal branch will anastomose with the sigmoidal arteries over here now the inferior mesenteric artery along with its branches the superior mesenteric artery along with the branches they all together forms an anastomotic channel all around the large intestine which is basically known as the marginal artery of Drummond. here you can see we have the branch this is going to anastomose with the left similarly the middle colic will anastomose with the right colic and then they are going to form an anastomotic channel over here which will be known as the marginal artery of Drummond. sometimes the ascending branch of the left colic artery does not anastomose with the left branch of the middle colic artery in such a case the anastomotic channel is not formed over here so a branch comes from the superior mesenteric artery and joins with the inferior mesenteric artery so this basic structure will be known as the arc of Rylan. so we will have an arc of Rylan, which again forms the continuity between the superior mesenteric and the inferior mesenteric artery so this is all about the inferior mesenteric artery